I am Varun from Rajiv Gandhi University of Knowledge Technologies, Basar, Telangana, India. Uh, okay, this presentation is uh, regarding the project I have done based on the uh, internship I have done in MRTEX Information Solutions on Embedded Systems. So, uh, I have designed a microwave oven functionality uh, using Pixim Lab. Okay, now let gets into the details. So, uh, the basic contents of my project and uh, the presentation are here. Embedded C programming. I'll explain about embedded C program, which I have learned during my internship days. And embedded systems. What is an embedded system and what are the applications? How we should use embedded systems and how we are using in day to day life. Next, uh, the final, I will explain my uh, project microwave oven and I will simulate the uh, results and show you. Okay, first, actually, uh, I have used this. Uh, microcontroller PIC PIC 16F8 77A microcontroller to design my project. Okay, now uh, let's get into the details of embedded C. Okay, what is meant by embedded C programming? Embedded C is an extension of C language. That is, uh, it is nothing but C language, but it has some other exp uh, extensions that uh, it can be used for uh, programming microcontroller based applications and uh, the Embedded C can be used uh, for addressing the ports and uh, actually it's uh, it's uh, somewhat uh, related to hardware. Actually C is uh, related to the software uh, but uh, embedded C is uh, directly linked to the hardware. It is used in hardware systems. It is used to uh, code hardware and how should the functionality of the hardware. Like uh, we can uh, program a microcontroller using embedded C language and uh, we can attain the functionality uh, okay embedded c has io hardware in the addressing fixed point arithmetic operations accessing address spaces etc actually embedded c is full hardware dependent language that means it is fully dependent on the hardware it can be used for hardware various uh, and embedded c is os os independent that means uh, it doesn't depend on os actually c is os dependent it will depend on uh, Oh yes, operating system, but uh, embedded C is not like that. It will depend only on hardware of embedded C. Okay, it has keywords. Okay, keywords means like uh, these are the things which are predefined and used for some special purposes. Okay, uh, it has like um, keywords has some categories, data types, modifiers, qualifiers, loops, jump statements, decisions, storage classes, etc. All these comes to keywords. Uh, internship M has explained these keywords. I mean, next typical C code uh, segments. Uh, the contents of C code are documentation, preprocessed statements. Like it has some um, predefined uh, uh, structure. It has it includes file header, preprocessed directives, and the start of the program, end of the program, extra pro program termination, statements, comments, etc. All these includes the uh, C code uh, contents. Okay. Next, uh, coming to number systems. Okay. Number systems includes like we have four number systems: decimal, octal, hexadecimal, and binary. Next, data representation, we can represent the data in bits, uh, bytes, uh, word, uh, positive, negative. And we have data types like in, uh, floating point data types and integral integral data types. Okay. Next, we have conditional construct. Conditional construct means like if else statements, uh, if else if, uh, else conditional, next to while, do while, for, for loops, uh, and uh, switch case statements. Uh, um, and etc and continue break uh, all these comes under conditional constructs next uh, coming to operators operators uh, we have some uh, like it will operate on uh, operands okay it will uh, manipulate the data 2 plus 3 equals to 5 like that okay we coming to operate operators uh, we have arithmetic operators logical operators relational assignment uh, bitwise um, etc all these are operators okay next over and under flow next we have arrays pointers functions strings uh, memory segments uh, storage classes and preprocessor uh, arrays are the storage elements in c language okay next we discuss about embedded system next is embedded systems okay what is meant by embedded system anything which is a combination of hardware and software uh, with additional some mechanical parts 
in power supply is known as embed system actually embed system is like uh, it contains digital to analog converters analog to digital converters filters amplifiers counters timers and many other things like it has many peripherals okay uh, uh, combining all these uh, will, will be done by hardware and software we use embed c to program a hardware device and make it to work as our desired embed system block diagram we have input devices system applications specific circuits power supply reset oscillator circuit and input output uh, interfacing we have drivers circuits okay these are the peripherals and internally the embed system contains processor program memory and data memory timers serial communication ports parallel ports interrupt controller uh, we will uh, see in deep uh, these topics okay now uh, coming to the classification classification of embedded systems uh, embedded systems are classified on based on two things uh, which is on performance and functional requirements and another one is based on the performance of the microcontroller uh, based on the performance and functional requirements we further divided to real time standalone network and mobile in uh, performance based um, <coughs> We have small scale, medium scale, sophisticated. Okay, okay. We will deeply discuss this now. Small scale embedded systems. What is this? Uh, small scale embedded systems means 8 bit or 16 bit microcontroller, which have little hardware and little software complexity. Okay. Here we have uh, limit power dissipation, and um, uh, we can run this for low level applications. For example. Um, we compile this uh, we program these devices using editor assembler and cross compilers cross assemblers next coming to medium scale embedded systems medium scale embedded systems are uh, this will be 16 bit to 32 bit microcontrollers these are basically uh, used in digital signal process and uh, reduce the instructions at computers uh, basically these dsp uh, microcontrollers are very very powerful and very useful okay both hardware and software complexity this have and programming tools we use to program this are rtos source code uh, energy and engineering tool simulator debugger etc uh, okay next we have sophisticated embedded systems in sophisticated embedded systems uh, we have like these are used for multi-purposes and the uh, bit is very high the input uh, the uh, alu bit is very high it is like around 128 bit okay these are used for uh, many other purposes like high end applications mobile phones smartphones and uh, laptops and networking devices okay next we have elements of embedded system okay we have uh, some elements in embedded system like hardware and software in software we have processor like it process the data and uh, makes uh, use of the input data and provides output Next, we have memory. Memory will store the data and manages the uh, data. It will store and release the data. Uh, it is divided into RAM and ROM. RAM, RAM means random access memory, sorry, and uh, ROM means read only memory. Okay, uh, from ROM, we can only just uh, read the data. And from RAM, we have uh, random access memory. Next, we have peripherals. Peripherals are the input and output ports which are used for communication and we have timers and counters next other hardware we have uh, some other hardware for embedded system we have uh, power source clock oscillator real time clock uh, reset circuit power up reset and memory io ports io buses interrupt handlers dsa and adc analog to digital converter and digital to analog converters we have lcd and led display liquid crystal display and light emitting diode display next we have keypad and keyboard and uh, for coming to the software we have uh, actually we use the software to code the hardware device and um, use it for our purpose so the software is all the hardware are consistent with the code uh, written code is a part of embedded system include initialization of the system controlling inputs and outputs error handling etc uh, we have softwares like real time operating system rtos okay this is used in uh, embedded uh, firmware Next, uh, we have microcontrollers. Embedded system is fully of microcontrollers. So, first one is uh, this. In, this is Arduino Uno, and uh, this is Raspberry Pi, and this is PIC 
16 f 8 double 7 a we use uh, we use this uh, for simulation okay next uh, microprocessor actually okay uh, now we see the difference between microcontroller and microprocessor here the mic microcontroller is the combination of microprocessor with input devices rom ram serial interface and timers now we design embedded system uh, design now we see how we de how the design will be it has microcontroller read only memory write only memory next rom ram serial interface io ports timer all these commonly called and all these commonly form an embedded system uh, okay it is the very important point of my presentation like how we can design an embedded system first the abstraction that means uh, basically the thing which we have to design is known as the abstraction uh, we take the abstraction here in our project we are designing microwave oven so the abstraction is like we have to design microwave oven next hardware software architecture here we uh, decide the architecture of hardware and software uh, software coming to like the blocks which we should include uh, the functions and uh, like that next hardware is like uh, what are the hardware things uh, we use in our project we use like uh, i will explain the latter the things we used as hardware next extra functional properties like what are the functional properties uh, we are uh, we have to design like the modes of operation and uh, the function it should take next system related family design uh, next modular design we we develop some individual modules and combine them okay next mapping uh, combining all those uh, modules to like integrating those all things to one and make it work user interface design actually like uh, the user type and um, uh, the design type is uh, too different like the designer can understand his design but how a user can understand so we should uh, design an interface like um, it will be act it will act as uh, the interface between user and uh, developer so the developer develop the code and that can uh, the user can easily access uh, the functionality of the embedded system so we should design an user interface uh, next refinement challenges so we have we face some challenges in embedded system design like environment adaptability power consumption area packaging security issue okay we have some things next we have many advantages of embedded systems uh, for embedded systems uh, we embedded systems are low over operation and very fast and portable small in size it is very small uh, we see like um, we have mobile next uh, we have many things embedded system like ipad uh, which we use to uh, hear thing we, which we use to hear music and easy for mass production and highly reliable next we have some limitations there will be no scope for technological improvements it, it reaches high point okay next it is hard to maintain and uh, we should take some backup files to uh, backup for embedded files and battery operatory systems please. okay now coming to the applications uh, there are many other applications for embedded systems like a digital camera mobile phones smart card embedded system next embedded mp3 player ipads okay next we have a networking like uh, wi-fi router digital clock uh, atm mp3 players microwave oven coffee machine projector build printers many many other applications uh, here we can see the embedded system applications in gas uh, automobile and telecommunications like smart cards and satellite and missiles it is used in smart line uh, smart cards and satellites also computer network in peripherals next digital consumer electronics we have many other things next coming to uh, some other applications in detail like we can de design a refrigerator with using this microcontroller okay by programming this microcontroller with the functionality we can design next autonomous guided vehicles like these will guide it themselves here this is the block diagram for autonomous guided vehicles it is based on microcontroller the instruction will be given to the microcontroller in the form of code and the code is then executed and it will work uh, with that functionality next we have washing machine uh, next okay finally coming to our project i have designed a microwave oven functionality in pixim lab okay um, basically here uh, we see the design steps uh, one by one at the end again we will uh, see the uh, simulation output okay next uh, the things we require to design this project is host like uh, the personal computer we should have a personal computer like uh, the whole program is dumped 
into a microcontroller board simulation it is an application so it will be installed in personal computer then the target from uh, on which we are uh, simulating it is pick sim lab okay next cross compiler cross compiler means like it has, it has uh, ide along with the compiler so mp lab x ide uh, it is the ide mp lab x ide is the ide and mp lab xc compiler it is the compiler code compiler and the code compiled by uh, uh, mp lab xc compiler okay it's the components of my project we have microcontroller pic 16f8 a microcontroller uh, it is a variant of pic okay next matrix keypad cooler fan and a relay to switch on and off the cooler fan next reset button and a buzzer and clcd character liquid crystal display okay here we see the four blocks okay so we use these four blocks to design okay okay what is pic 16 fei 77a it is a 40 pin ic and it has five bidirectional ports port a port b port c port d and port e each bit uh, each port is like port a is 6 bits port b is 8 bits port c is 8 bits port d is 3 bits port d, d is 8 bits and port e is 3 bits okay uh, and here does like uh, here is the rs232 it is for communication and leds a buzzer uh, digital keyboard keypad and the uh, seven segment displays four seven segment displays it has and matrix keypad and character liquid crystal display and analog to digital converters digital to analog converters lm35 temperature sensor uh, i square c and rtcr epr-om i square c protocol for communication gpio okay uh, next character liquid crystal display 16 cross 4 we have two types 16 cross 2 and 16 cross 4 for our project we are using 16 cross 4 16 cross 4 means like here we can uh in we have four rows and 16 columns those uh, okay these 16 uh, represent the 16 columns and 16 characters we can uh, represent and these four are four rows so totally 16 plus four so 16 for four cross number of characters we can display on this lcd okay it has eight cross uh, seven cross uh, five cross eight, eight dots include cursor like it has uh, you see uh, one is formed by uh, it has five dots and uh, like this it has um, vertically it has eight dots so combine the, these are uh, these can form a character any type of character print all the ascii values and few uh, special symbols also it has 16 interfacing lines we will discuss that later and it can operate in two modes 8 bit mode and 4 bit mode in 4 bit mode it can use only four uh, four um, pins and 8 bit mode it uses only 8, eight pins okay next rs means register select it will um, decide whether the um, it, it is taken as instruction or data next rw ground okay rw means read or write bar that means uh, whether the cl series reading data or writing data okay next enable 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 will enable the lcd next we have data lines d4 to d7 and these are rs is connected to d2 and uh, read or write is connected to ground because uh, we are every time reading the data okay okay next enable is connected to d3 here we have uh, the interfacing diagram see here uh, reader write bar is connected to ground that means um, uh, the CLCD we are uh, we are writing into CLCD next VSS VDD potentiometer which is used to adjust, adjust the contrast reader write bar next enable and D0 to D7 and anode pin cathode pin these are used for backlight okay these are connected to the PIC 16F8778 next matrix keypad we have matrix keypad it has uh, 1 2 3 4 rows and 4 columns totally 16 uh, keys okay the columns access inputs and rows accept access outputs and we have the functionality to them to have okay this is the connections and we have timers we have for timers we have resolution tick quantum mode scale prescale etc okay now we see what is mean by resolution okay resolution actually resolution is um, 
the register width and tick means either it is up counting or down counting next random means system clock settings that are the system clock settings as we have scaling means pre scaling and post scaling that is uh, like it has one is to two or two uh, one is to four like that next we have interrupts different type of okay uh, now we talk about the interrupts interrupts are the things uh, which will disturb disturb an event uh, for example, if an action is going on in a microcontroller or uh, like in embedded system, the action is disturbed by some interrupt. For example, we see uh, we have detected a uh, fire alarm, fire detection, fire the fire sensor detected the fire. Then immediately the microcontroller will stop all its actions and immediately shifts its control to uh, alert the people, uh, turn on the alarm or buzzer. Okay. That is the interrupts. In interrupts, we have hardware interrupts and software interrupts. In hardware, we have non-maskable and maskable. Non-maskable means uh, which cannot be masked. That means which cannot be ignored. Those interrupts should be done. The control should be returned to interrupt service routine. Next, we have maskable. In maskable, we have external and internal maskable. Okay. Now, we go to the implementation. Implementation of the Now we are um, coming to the implementation part. Now we load the hex file into the microcontroller. Then we see how it will function. Uh, coming to loading, uh, click on file, load hex, then select the project and open. It will be the starting of the microcontroller uh, powering on microwave oven. Then we, it has four modes. Micro mode, grill mode, convection mode, and start mode. Click on micro mode to first. Okay, I'm clicking on micro mode and see what will happen. In micro mode, uh, it will be heated with uh, for some uh, certain time. Okay, now we see uh, we are ending entering 12 seconds. Here we have entered 12 seconds and enter minutes. Zero. One minute. One minute. 12 seconds. Okay, to clear the uh, enter to clear the enter things we click on star here we see star to clear okay click on start see it will become zero and now we can re-enter two seconds okay two sec two minutes twelve seconds now click on hash to enter okay the fan is turned on and the time has become uh, it will decrease okay it has increment mode pass mode stop mode like in in after uh, entering micro mode we just uh, increment pass stop to stop click on six to pass click on five to increase the time or uh, when we have stopped the running to resume click on four now we see what will happen if we click on four see the time has increased for 30 seconds okay now uh, if we click on five it will be passed okay the fan has stopped okay the timer also stopped now to resume it click on 4 it will resume the timer will become uh, it will count down and the fan is on now if you want to stop the um, micro oven just click on 6 6 will stop okay click on 6 it will stop and return to the main menu mode okay okay now we see what will happen if we uh, stay for time 0 now okay click on power we set for uh, around six seconds okay timer is set for six seconds and click on stop okay it, uh, the fan has st uh, started and time becoming decreased what we see what will happen see the buzzer is blown and the fan has stopped when it uh, the time reaches to zero and it automatically uh, comes to main menu mode okay now we see what is a grill mode click on two okay here uh, just like in micro mode it is also like same functionality but it is used for posting so here no power we just click on time this and now we click on uh, five seconds press on star now you see the buzzer has blown and same functionality now we see what is meant by convection third one okay click on 3 you see here set to temperature degree centigrade and temperature double triple zero clear enter okay 
now uh, we click on the temperature here uh, i have designed the i have uh, designed a code which take only 0 to 180 degrees of temperature okay now we click on uh, 123 degree centigrade it will take now we clear and uh, try to enter greater than 180 now let's say enter 181 see max temperature 180 it will display like max temperature is 180 let's say enter uh, 653 max temperature 180 okay now we enter 180 degrees only exactly 180 8 0 okay it will taking 180 okay now to enter click on hash okay now preheating uh, in convection mode the um, he, the heater will preheat for 180 seconds that means 3 seconds after 3 seconds it will ask for time okay now wait for 180 seconds and we see what will happen uh, meanwhile we see how i have modified the code for uh, entering 0 to 180 degree 180 degree centigrade something okay now uh, to enter in 180 3 uh, 180 we have three digits if the count is less than 3 and if the count is equals to 1 we can take and if the count is equals to 2 we can uh, take the value if the count is equals to 3 and temperature the enter temperature is greater than or equals to 18 that means uh, if we, it is entering uh, the third digit it will be like if it is 0 only we can accept if it is not 0 we should not accept so for that logic i have given temp is temperature is greater than or equals to 1 18 and key is not equals to 0 for that if uh, this condition satisfies the temperature will automatically become 0 and the key count will be 0 and it will display like max temperature is 180 okay uh, and some delay after some delay it will uh, return and come to 0 and ask to re-enter okay now we this time it will not accept any key value you see here i am pressing keys but it will don't accept any keys okay uh, it will enter to preheating mode only okay this tip switch uh, is used to access buzzer we can turn off the buzzer and turn on the buzzer okay and it is this cooler and we have a heater here okay and these are the dip switches like here if we turn off this dip switch the lcd will go off it will uh, toggle between lcd mode and next uh, we have this led bank you see these are for lcd leds okay i just turn, turned off this and this is the keyboard okay okay the 180 seconds is completed now we enter the time uh, let's enter like around okay six seconds we heat the uh, material for six seconds at 180 uh, 180 degrees okay now click on enter okay uh, same the time has stopped and started and increment mode resume mode okay after completing time the same buzzer will blow on and the fan will stop okay uh, next what is mean by start mode fourth one okay now click on four if you want to um, heat things for just short period of time for around let's say 30 seconds we can go for start mode here i have designed the code for 30 seconds only so click on four so uh, automatically the timer is set to 30 seconds and same functionality if you want to increase the time for more 30 seconds click on 4 time has increased to 30 seconds again, again click on 4 again 30 seconds okay if you want to stop click on 5 or uh, if you want to pass click on 5 and if you want to stop click on 6 okay uh, here it is the reset it will all, uh, reset the code and relaunches okay mm. this is the uh, functionality i have designed uh, entire, my entire uh, project okay i am very thankful to the director jay kumar bala subramanian sir for providing me this internship opportunity and i am thankful to my mentor rajini ma'am for uh, guiding me throughout this uh, entire project sessions and lectures Thank you.